So you want to learn VBA but don't know how? Don't worry, I got you covered. Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Eric. In today's episode, I'll be teaching you three ways to do a copy-paste method using VBA. Let's get started. So the object here is to copy this range of data, A1 to J32 to L1 to U32. And we can start off with a subroutine, we'll call it copy. Then we'll start off by typing the range of the data set, which is A1 to J32 dot copy. And the, range, the destination it's asking for is the range that we want to copy it to. So that'll be L1, L1 to U32. Now, as soon as we hit F5 on the keyboard or the green play button here, it'll run the code and copy the data. As you can see here, it did a exact one-to-one -one copy. So this method is great. If you have small amounts of data, it'll copy and, and paste it into your destination pretty quick. But if you have large amounts of data, 20,000, 30,000 plus rows, you'll want to use a different method. And I can teach you that. So we'll start off with a new subroutine. We'll call it copy value. And we'll start off with the destination range, which is L1 to U32 dot value. And we'll do the equals. Now when we do the equals, it's going to equal the range of your source, your data source. So we'll do range A1 to J32 dot value. Now when we hit the F5 on the keyboard or the green play button, it'll run the code. As you can see, it did a perfect one-to-one -one copy again. So this is great if you have a large amount of data to copy over. As you can see, both methods we use have a specific range specified. What if you don't know your rows or the column numbers? We can use, actually use a dynamic method, and I'll show you how. We'll start off with a new subroutine. We'll call it copy dynamic. Okay, and then we'll first start off by declaring some variables. So source for the source range as range, and we'll do another one called dest for destination as range. Next, we need to tell VBA what source and dest is. So we need to set source equals this workbook dot worksheets. And then we need to specify the worksheets. We'll source and then the range a1 dot current region. So what current region means is the same as if you went onto your data source and you hit control A on your keyboard, it selects whatever it is attached to range A1. Next, we need to set the destination. So it's the same thing. We just use this code here and we'll just change location. Let's clear this off. And now for the destination, we don't need current region. We just need the first cell where the data will be pasted in. Okay, so next we need to do range, or no, we need to do destination dot resize. We'll resize by using the source dot row dot count and source dot columns dot count, close bracket, dot value equals source dot value. Now when we run this code, it'll do a copy and paste. Now if you have more rows, we can also do that as well. So we just copy this here, paste it below, and run the code again. And there you have it. You don't need to specify a certain range like the other two methods. Okay, so let's take this one step further. We can actually insert a button that can run this code for us. We'll go to insert and go to insert shape. We'll draw our shape out, right click and click on assign macro. And then from there, we'll select the code that we want. Uh, let's clear this out first. All right, so once we have that ready, you just press the button here and it'll copy for us. Hey, thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more episodes. See you next time.